education uh, of future lawyers is going through a new development where we're shifting away from purely studying national systems to um, studying law from a transnational perspective. What that means for legal education is that our students um, should be trained to work with other legal systems and their comparative law is a very important part of our methodology in teaching. If we think about universities and how they should react to the challenges of Europeanization of law and in a way globalization of contract law, I think the only way to go forward is to integrate these elements in uh, the education of young lawyers, to integrate them in the teaching of contract law, not as separate courses but uh, integrate them in the core courses at the undergraduate level and comparative methodology has to be a core element of that kind of teaching. In my opinion the main challenge to legal education at universities is that every student who begins to study law has to be aware that during his or her professional lifetime this law will not remain the same. We can only prepare students to be able to adapt to changes in the legal environment if they have some knowledge about alternative forms of law and alternative solutions. And that is why we need teaching in comparative law. I think my advice for future students is to look when you're choosing your university to see which universities actually build comparative law into the program so that it's something which is always taken into account rather than just being an add-on that a few students will take because I think the comparative approach is absolutely essential in today's globalized world and students need to be educated in it.